Alright, welcome back to Hybrid. Alright, welcome back. Snack plays Death Store. It's been about three weeks since I've last gotten on. So long that my beard starting to go gray. But life got in the way. I tried to get a bunch of this stuff done um, while editing. And it's just been a really slow, tedious process for me with coupling work and everything else. Also, I didn't notice in the background all the stuff I collected is actually in the intro. It's kind of nice. But let's see. All the items. Pretty sure I'm one health shrine and two magic shrines away from full full of those. 90.3%, nine and a half hours. Let's finish this game. All right. Something I never actually figured out last time was whether the red glow means, I mean, usually it means, hey, important, right? Like there's something in this area, but what if it also means, hey, this area is done, just ignore it. Hmm, I don't know. Never never did confirm that. I have a feeling Red Glow is screaming, hey, come find me, because I'm in here. Something in here. But last time I left off, I'm pretty sure that there was a bunch of ghosts in the main area, because I took the watchtower key from the boss. Also, it's been so long of hope I haven't forgotten how to play. Watchtower key from watchtower key from the boss. Went and unlocked that. So let's uh Let's go find our way back to the main area. I'm gonna guess because Lost Cemetery has the red on it that it means there's missing stuff in it because there's no way I found everything in the Lost Cemetery because that's where we're going right now. All right, so I will, to my credit, I have not looked anything up on this game. So I don't actually know secrets or anything, but I did get a small hint from a friend that said because I remember last time I played, I was leading the ghost around for like 40 minutes to no avail. And that the ghosts go kind of close to where they are initially found. So it's good for me. Let's go find one. All right. Where would a ghost be? Let's see how long it takes me to forget to play this game. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, see, I'm too good. Can't die in this game. Right, so besides the ghosts, I, I know that there are also large doors? Probably, hey, look how cute he is. <laughs> like one per area. I remember seeing the witch's one in the in the credit sequence. There's one, perfect. Um, so I'm assuming there's one in each area. Like, like that's one of the doors, actually. Well, that's actually not too far away. Let's grab this ghost and take him to that door, see what happens. <laughs> I remember it took like 10 minutes to realize that they aren't, they aren't going to hurt me, but I can't hit them. No, let's go this way. Maybe you interact with this statue? Oh, yeah. Nice. That's it? Okay, I got to find the rest of them then. Oh. Well, okay then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. Am I reading that right? Seven ghosts. I don't remember seeing that many ghosts in this area. But let's go find them. Well, I'm happy it didn't take me four years to figure that out because I was afraid I was. It's gonna be like the other night. Um, let's do like a perimeter. I don't want to get lost. I remember which ghost I found. Okay, something over here. Okay, well, here's a statue. It's good to know. So hopefully this means there's a ghost up here. I will say, I gotta love a game that takes a little bit of a modern approach and actually has an end game. It's kind of nice. Usually, I think I've said this before, I was fully expecting this game to just end. Also, nothing's changed on the cemetery door either. I expect that to open it sometime as well. Okay, there's a statue. You know, <laughs> I brought that ghost to this, this cemetery. The other night. I can't believe I didn't actually make it there or figure that one out. Okay, so ghost down there. Well, he's close to this one, so let's go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed this statue. Very nice. That's two of seven. 
Also, is this dude still lying in his, in his bed? Yeah, that's creepy. All right, I'm not sure I need the existential crisis right now. And I have a feeling there's a third ghost in this area? Yep, okay. All right, so I know there's the statue back. There's four ghosts in this area, okay. I'm just trying to figure out where the statue is first, and I can come back and get them. All right, come on, you. Let's actually go this way. Oh, it's right here. Nice. Come on. Come on. I'm going to help you out a little bit. All right, so it goes down there. So much rolling, so much being a bird. Here we go. Oh, okay. Where the heck am I? Well, there's his statue. Why am I completely lost here? Okay. Also, apologies if I miss a statue. I keep my monitor brightness a little bit low for eye reasons and the, the nighttime aesthetic is actually pretty dark. I can't stand how slow you are. Let's go. This one. Here he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay, I think I missed. I think that was four. I believe so. I mean, 90% is pretty close. Lots of, lots of collectibles I've missed. Uh, lots. Well, five, looks like. This could be anywhere. Five of those. Three shrines and some ghosts. Okay, so somewhere here is a ladder that goes down. I don't know which side of the bridge I'm on anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking lost. <laughs> okay. Also, I think I just took that ghost that was here way away because here's his statue, most likely. That's hilarious. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Let's go. Man, how come these ghosts are all cool looking? And the poor, no, come on. Oh, okay. And the poor reapers who died in the worlds just got to be like little, little skeletons. All right, I think that was five. So there's probably two more ghosts. In fact, I believe one of them is right at the bottom of this ladder, which is perfect. Also, how long has this door been there? Hold up, what? Oh, yes, okay, it's been a while. I think there was something to collect right there. That's fine. All right, I'm pretty sure missing one ghost. And I have absolutely no clue where he is. Hopefully I just stumble upon him. Sketchy. Wait. Okay, it's the intro area. Nice. That'd actually, be funny if there was a collectible in here. That'd be the ultimate backtracking thing. I cannot tell if that's a. Uh... Ooh, is it? Okay, it's been so long. I actually forgot how to use my powers. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so. No way. Give me that, it's mine. Oh, wow, a makeshift soul key. Now that's gotta be, okay. Reapers that could've been, to location, the passage would've been unstable, certainly not commission standard. That was a well-hidden one. That's one you would, uh, you'd look up later and be like, that's some, that's some bull BS. All right, glad I'm exploring. Man, where does this door go? 
Oh, nice. Okay, red definitely means stuff something's available. Good to know. Man, why did you find like a white door? Just somewhere. It's, it's looking all kind of sketchy. You enter it? Ooh, my first death. <laughs> I had to repeat that just for fun. Did that one on purpose. You just believe me. Stop it. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry I lied to you. I'm scared. Don't want to jump down. Oh, yes. Give me that. Give me that. Look, this is the solution. You just don't play for three weeks and you'll find everything you need. Just what happens here? Happenstance. Happen chance? How about, how about the Ooh, look at all that health. That's what I'm talking about. Which leaves. Nice. Just two magic shrines somewhere in the world. Ah, oh, look at that. So I am missing one. Good to know. That is cool. I've, I was always wondering what that bridge would be. I gotta say, I love the... I mean, I don't know how many times I can praise this game for being like Zelda. I just... I just miss a top-down Zelda like this, honestly. I solidly give this game, like... Honestly, I was gonna give it, you know, just the average. Well, it's a B game. You know, if you got time, you should play it. But this is definitely, I think, an A game. This is an A indie game. So not only do I think you should definitely get time to play it, I think you should... I recommend it too as well. You know, of course, only if you like it, but the game is good. It's super solid. I know I've just been doing my editing and play through this game. It's taken me forever, but like, I swear I hum the theme song to this thing. Just, oh my God. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Oh my, I'm sitting here monologuing, talking to the camera and I hear that. Oh, Jesus. All right. Freaking mad. Get down here. Sick of you. Man. Good. Fall off the bridge. Stupid. Oh, here he is. Nice. What up, last ghost dude? I'm sure you are this way. I wish this was like Zelda. I could put you in like a little bottle to carry you around. This is where I wanted to be earlier. Oh my gosh, it's on the right freaking side. Oh, man. Okay, I don't know how to get back here, though. Let's see. This one was well hidden. It's really obvious on my screen over here, but this dark screen, I couldn't see it at all. Okay. Cutscene. Kind of excited, not gonna lie. Hope there's like a super secret boss in here. Probably not. Probably just collectible. But that's still cool. Let's go. Spooky. Okay. So these ancient tablets are not part of these items. Because I'm pretty sure that same tablet of knowledge was found in that Avarice one too. Interesting. Really interesting. All right, well, I'm gonna suspect that there is one of these doors in every section. So, let's go section by section. 